I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs and today I'm going to show you how I felt wool in my front load washing machine. I use felted wool a lot on the backs of my punch needle bowl fillers. It's nice because it won't unravel and you don't have to turn it under like you might a piece of cotton in order to sew it on. And felted wool is also good for wool applique and rug hooking. Let's get started. I have five pieces of wool that I have cut into about one yard lengths. I find it's easier to felt smaller pieces than a great big long five yard piece. And as you can see here, it's very ravelly. It will come apart easy if you were to cut it or try to make cut pieces or applique pieces with it. So I'm going to put each piece into the machine, kind of open it up, and throw it in there. Now since this front load machine doesn't have an agitator, I'm going to add my own agitation. Some people say to use jeans or things like that, but I found that the jeans, the blue denim in them will sometimes discolor the wools. So I use just standard tennis balls. I throw them in there and those serve as some agitation. Add soup. And I'm going to wash it on heavy duty with hot water. All right, once the washing machine is finished, I'm going to take out the wool and inspect it. You just want to make sure that the edges are no longer ravelly. The pieces of thread are not coming apart. So the next step is to put it in the dryer. Well, I'm just going to throw them in the dryer. I don't put the tennis balls in there. I'm really not sure how well those would stand up to the heat of the dryer. But I do have some dryer balls in here with them that will kind of help agitate a little bit as they dry. And I'm going to use a high setting and automatic dry. Be sure to clean out your lint filter before you get started on this because it does make a lot of lint in your dryer. And dry it as normal. Once it is dry, you take it out and you can see it's a lot like felt now. It's You could cut it into any shape you want and it would not unravel. I hope you found that helpful. If you do, be sure to click the like button below and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!